All right, today we're gonna do a pompadour with a half on the sides. So we're gonna use the open guard, open the lever on the clippers to start our fade. So here, this is a really good way to find the natural parting. Push all the hair back and you can see right there where the hair curls over, that's where his natural parting is. So that's where you're gonna wanna separate the hair. So you're gonna part it right there. And you could also use guide uh, s clips to section it off, but I'm not gonna use clips right now. And I'm gonna use my two guard, and this is open. And we're just flicking out to the curve of the head. And we're gonna follow it all the way back to the occipital bone. And I'm dropping it a fair little bit. You can see I'm dropping it towards the bottom of his towards the back of his occipital bone there and I don't want to go too high because then I'm gonna cut the crown off I'm gonna ruin the shape of the haircut you don't want to do that so we're just removing a lot of bulk right here and we're gonna clip her over comb the remaining hair above the two and a half that I did and I'm gonna cut it down till it's nice and blended and this is just gonna give me a nice base to start my fade so that when I get to the end of my fade I know the top of the fade is a two and a half around a two and a half And you want to be careful in the crown area. Don't cut off his longer hairs there on the crown. You definitely don't want to do that. Taking off all the bulk here. So this is where I'm going to come in with my guard open or my lever open on my magic clips. And I'm going to make my first guideline. And this is just how my client likes it. He doesn't like it to be all the way down to a zero. So therefore I do a half. And I actually put my, some new ceramic guards on my, or ceramic blades, sorry, on my magic clips. And they actually work really nice. I'm liking the ceramics. I have the ceramic on my Andy's T outliner as well. It works pretty nice on there. So we're gonna put on our half guard and we're gonna make another guideline about three quarters of an inch to an inch above the original line that I created with my guard open or with my uh, clipper open. Do you guys remember to subscribe to my channel like and comment on my videos. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. We're gonna keep that line all the way around the head. I usually do the whole head at the same time. I don't do half of the head at the same time. Sometimes I've been starting to do it a little more here and there. If I have more time on my clients, then I'll do half of the head at a time, but usually I'm booked up all the time so and all I'm doing is getting into those little areas where I can see any dark spots playing around with my lever a little bit so here we're gonna use my one guard this is the levers all the way open and we're gonna go another half an inch to an inch up above the original line that we just created before that and I'm gonna close the guard halfway blend in below that and then we're gonna go right to the one and a half guard so I'm brushing his hair up just so I don't cut off any of his long pieces you could also use clips to hold it in place 
His hair is sitting pretty nice, so I just decided not to use clips. And I'll probably, I think I clip it up, I clip it up later on in the, in the video and I clean it up a little more. So here I'm going to use the one and a half right in the crown area, or in the occipital bone area, right above it. And then I go back with my one and a half right on top of the guard I just did. And this is open. And I'm making sure I flick out so I don't dig into the crown. I don't want to ruin the back of the head, the shape of the back of the head. And now this is just a little more touch up work with the one guard. And we're going to do it again on the other side. So again from the beginning, it was an open lever, half, and then we went up to the half guard, the zero guard, and then we went one and a half with the one guard and then a one, and then we went to the one and a half guard. So we're using three different guards. And here I'm doing some more clipper over comb work, just to make sure the shape is nice. Shape is a very important factor when you're doing haircuts, when you're trying to give a nice haircut service. And you can see there's a lot of areas I need to fix up in the back and on the sides. And I'm going to do that with my clipper over comb. I like using my clipper in an upright position like this because it helps blend some of those pieces that are longer. You could also just cut from a regular position as well like the way I'm doing just there right now. But I find that the hair grows down so when I cut downwards like that it helps blend it a little quicker and it helps me keep a straighter shape. You can see the right side of his head is a lot better than we started out with. So now we're going to cut the top. I'm not going to show the whole process, but I don't want to keep the video too long. But I will show you a couple of cuts, the way that I cut the top with the shears. So I'm just going to blend in the sides a little bit with my shears using my shear over comb techniques. You can see the hairs that are coming off, very small amounts. You can see the shape, we're fixing the shape on the sides here. And this is just to get any of the little hairs that are hanging out. And you can see very small amounts that I'm cutting. I think shear work is a very important part of hair cutting. A lot of people don't, don't take the time to learn how to use the shears properly. So I think it's a very important part of barbering and hairstyling in general especially hairstyling because if you don't cut it properly you're not going to be able to style it properly so now I'm just going to line up the neck area I'm going to use my Andes Slimline Pro Lithium. These are great trimmers, my favorite trimmers. These are zero gap. And you can tell they're zero gap, they're quite sharp. Let the trimmers do all the work when you're doing this. You don't need to push very hard. If you got good working trimmers, they'll do all the work for you. You can see that nice crisp line. And I did taper out his neck. I, I don't believe I showed that portion, but I did taper out the neck. So now we're gonna start blow drying. 
You can use a Denman comb or a Denman brush rather. And I'm gonna pull it up, get some nice tension. And I really want the tension in the front because I really want a lot of volume for this pompadour. It's gonna be a pompadour style. It's not like a full pompadour. It's got a bit of that old school feel to it. I like to call it modern or old school because it's got a lot of modern touches to it, but it's got that old school feel to it. And you can see with the front, I'm really giving it more of a curl on the front. You see that? And I'll show you why I do that in a second. I want to give it a bit of a curl right in the front there, right where his widow's peak is. And that's going to give a nice, nice shape to it when it's nice and styled at the end. Tension is very important when you're blow drying because the tension is really going to set the volume and the direction of the hair. And I'm using Barber Station Matte today. It's a really nice, uh, really nice wax. I love this pomade. It's really nice. It's more of a wax. It's not like a high shine or anything. Very low shine matte wax. Not too much. Just enough. And we're gonna style it up and then comb it and give it some texture with the comb. And you can see it looks really nice. And you can already see what I was trying to do with the front there when I was giving it a lot of tension right in that area. I'm giving it a nice curl. I'm gonna pull it out with my fingers and you can see that nice old school style. And that's the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I'm gonna put up a couple more tutorials pretty soon here. Next week I'll put up some reviews. I'm gonna review the Dyson blow dryer that I have. I'm gonna review some products and I will be doing a giveaway soon. So remember to like, comment on this video and subscribe to my videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something today.